Good evening, guys. This is Raku here. Uh, belated uh, Diwali wishes. I'm sorry I could not uh, bring you any video this Diwali uh, because I was not feeling well. Even today I was not feeling well, but I thought I will uh, uh, cover the uh, Nifty analysis for tomorrow. So currently what I'm sharing here is, uh, it's a weekly uh, pivots and weekly CPR. So most of you, if you have observed me, uh, talking about pivots, you know the inside CPR has a very, very high significance in um, pivot uh, trading. So this was the uh, previous week CPR where we had a wide CPR indicating a range bound and that's exactly market acted. We had a double bottom went down. Although two days was cut on the um, weekly time frame, So this range bound has resulted in a inside CPR. Now inside CPR, uh, the logic behind inside CPR is when market stays in a range bound where market participants are not sure which side to take the price. I mean, in short, market participants are not aware of the direction. These inside CPR will be formed. And in this inside CPR day or weekly or monthly, market uh, has a high probability of making a decision on the direction. So it looks like it has made a decision because today a market uh, after after uh, going sharply down, it, it reversed the entire fall was bought and looks like market participants have reversed the direction because the range of previous week is broken. And also on weekly pivots, price is resting above R1. So this R1 that is 18,054 guys, I mean, you can mark this level. 18,054 will be a crucial uh, weekly pivot to be watched out because as per pivots, R1 and above is where the smart money enters and takes the price to next level. But this is the weekly outlook. Now, how about the daily outlook? What will happen tomorrow? Now, we have a very sharp pin bar. Yes, the pin bar has reversed. And if you observe here, this 20 MA, 18,080, this is where the daily 20 MA is there. This is the median of Bollinger Band. So we are at the center of the Bollinger Band. Understand guys, these are the key, key crucial evidence. So after a sharp expansion, price came down, book, profit booking happened. And now prices are trying to go slowly up, but this mid, point is very important because if it sustains about 20 day moving average on daily basis, it has got all potential to move till 18,200 because I don't see any uh, hurdle between 18,080 and 18,200 around 120 points or 100 and, mm, yeah, 120, 130 points. But what is the crucial thing? It is at the center. Look at the wide uh, expansion of lower Bollinger Band and higher Bollinger Band. There's all possibility here, market might go sideways as well. So that is where we need to watch out our tomorrow CPR. If you see tomorrow CPR, we have a very wide CPR. This is of 34.62. So 38.34 is, oh, this is around 68.70 points wide CPR, which indicates that tomorrow might be a range bound day. So you need to watch out. So when can you expect a, a breakout? As if says tomorrow it has a big gap up and it sustains above previous day high or previous and they, uh, sorry, sustains of a previous day high and R1. This is daily R1 for tomorrow, 18,157. And if it sustains this, then you have a possibility that market might go up. But when you, when you look at the overall context, okay, today on uh, hourly time frame, price is about R1. I said, watch out that uh, this R1 level on weekly or, or daily time frame where prices can uh, take support and go up. This high, these two dojis are decision-making areas. If for some reason, say 18,037, 
is broken downside on hourly time frame you need to anticipate that prices will go down because this doji indicates market is indecisive so if for some reason tomorrow we have a gap up or maybe price opens within the range and then closes above this doji with a green bar decent green bar then you need to anticipate that market has decided to go up as simple as it is now where does the r2 pivot stays the r2 pivot is at 18191 which is nothing but 18200 range if you can see here so above r2 okay 18200 looks in the range in the visibility sorry and it can hit 18200 tomorrow itself not a big deal but i would like to give you how we need to trade this on intraday purpose see this is where i have marked the levels for you if for some reason as said if uh, prices open below today's high where can it take support you need to anticipate it can take support on the cpr cpr acts as a support if it's coming from top if it's going from bottom it will act as a resistance remember we have ascending cprs so ascending cpr means you need to look to buy on dips so here if it comes down cpr should act as support say suppose cpr is also broken then the midpoint of cpr uh, will act as support because uh, that is where uh, today market went down so this is a crucial level so if you see the levels these levels are captured by pivots that is what i want to wanted to highlight so if the entire cpr is broken then uh, you can anticipate uh, market to touch s1 support and below s1 it can go to 17860 or 17337 so are we looking that market will go down no i just wanted to show you that these are buying area this is buying area this is buying area the lower cpr is also buying area the central pivot this is a support where buying area has happened because it broke the high of the morning candle at the central pivot so this is a very strong support and then the upper cpr is broken and you can see market has gone sideways and towards the end of the day it has tried to break out of range now why it halted here you can watch on the left hand side you have a kind of double top not a ideal double top but a kind of double top let me remove this tomorrow cpr so that you can see the level watch this so this is a crucial level so if tomorrow price gaps up above 18100 and if for some reason price comes down this 20 points or 13 points range will act as a support because this is where market tried to move up twice and then fell down so if it opens above the resistance will act as a support and what would be the next level the next level is 18190 now here if i just bring sorry the pivots this 18190 is above r1 pivot so above r1 you need to watch out this 18190 18200 level so if 18190 is broken upside the next level will be 18260 so you can anticipate 18250 to 260 can be achieved if price sustains above r1 so for all these these uh, uh, what do you call predictions price action predictions uh, it's very important to observe where the price opens tomorrow morning will it be above the previous day high will it be above r1 and after r1 will it sustain r1 as support and then goes up or will it comes down to test this uh, 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 what do you call support and then move up or will it opens within the range take support on cpr and then goes up so because as per the white cpr we know it will be a range bound day but again market can surprise us but i'm just marking these levels for your benefit where you can uh, you know trade accordingly so above r1 you'll have s1 you can identify s1 will be somewhere between this this range so you can keep the pivot targets or you can trade these level without any issue so how do you want to trade these levels 
you can just keep a 20 day moving average and trade it. As long as it is about 20 day moving average, price will be moving up. Why right, this is 20 day, yeah. Price will be moving up. So below 20 day, you can consider to book profit, but in option trading, you have to be very careful if you're using moving average. So my, my way of trading is uh, move from level to level, keeping uh, eight day moving average in a strong uptrend and uh, exit and entry criteria is also based on eight day moving average along with pivots in a strong uptrend or plainly use pivots. Pivots are the best way of uh, trading. If it is above R1, sustains R1, your stop loss should be below R1 and then go up. If it is upper CPR is breaking up, yes, you need to buy because upper CPR belongs to buyers. And if the lower CPR is broken, then the lower CPR belongs to sellers. You need to think about selling only in a scalping way and then uh, make use of these levels while trading because these are all price action levels where market made a decision to take price up or down. So this will act uh, uh, very accurately. Let's see how it plays out tomorrow. That's all from my end, guys. Thank you. Have a good night.